ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு த பர்செப்டான் ஒர்க்கிங் பிரின்சிபல் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஹியர் த பர்செப்டான் லேர்னிங் ரூல் இஸ் யூஸ் டு செப்பரேட் த கிவன் ட்ரைனிங் எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் எய்தர் பாசிட்டிவ் கிளாஸ் ஆர் நெகட்டிவ் கிளாஸ் ஹியர் த கன்ஸ்டைன்ட் இஸ் வி ஹாவ் டு செக் த கிவன் சாம்பிள்ஸ் ஆர் லீனியர்லி செப்பரபிள் ஆர் நாட் ஸோ த டேட்டா செட் இஸ் கிவன் ஹியர் வித் டூ ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் எக்ஸ் ஒன் அண்ட் எக்ஸ் டூ விச் இஸ் த டிசைர்ட் அவுட் புட் ஆர் டார்கெட் அவுட் புட் ஸோ ஹியர் வி ஆர் யூசிங் த ஜீரோ இஸ் நெகட்டிவ் கிளாஸ் அண்ட் ஒன் இஸ் த பாசிட்டிவ் கிளாஸ் since we are having uh, two inputs x1 and x2 we are having the uh, two uh, weights w1 and w2 uh, for this we are having the values 0.6 and 1.2 for the w2 and w1 respectively the learning rate is given as 0.5 and the threshold is 1 so here we should uh, uh, initiate the uh, active function to calculate the predicted output the uh uh data set is linearly separable or not the here for that we have to uh, draw the plot x1 and x2 uh, then uh, plot the data samples on the uh, plot here 0, 0 this is the negative class and 0, 1 so 0, 1 is here negative class and 1, 0 so this is also negative class and 1, 1 which is here positive class it will be available so we have to check is it linearly separable or not by using the linear decision boundary yes it is linearly separable so we can go for the active function linear sum so the linear uh, sum can be given here uh, the linear sum equation is uh, the w0 x0 plus w1 x1 plus w2 x2 etc wn xn here the it is it can be represented as summation of i equal to 0 to n uh, wi xi so here the w0 or bias is not given in the problem statement if it is not given we can take as a zero uh, uh, what about then x0 x0 is the input for the bias always positive one so based upon the given values you can substitute here and you will get the uh, predicted output the uh, given samples are 0 is a neg- uh, negative sample and 1 uh, is the positive sample based upon that uh, here threshold is given 1 so whenever you are getting the value greater than or equal to 1 then that sample is uh, assumed as a positive sample and uh, if it is less than 1 the sample is negative sample now we will take the sample number 1 to apply the perceptron rule and, uh, uh, rule here the predicted output for the sample number 1 w0 x0 so here w0 is 0 so because it is not given then x0 is positive 1 w1 x1 so w1 is the 1.2 and w2 is here uh, sorry x1 is here 0 and w2 is here 0.6 and x2 is here 0 then you are you are applying the arithmetic calculation you are getting the 0 so here we have to check the threshold value with the predicted output so 0 less than 1 so the predicted output is here uh, positive class so uh, the comparison to be done here the predicted output is 0 and actual output is also here 0 so both are matching so the given sample is correctly classified if the sample is correctly classified as per the uh, learning rule we need not to update the weight then go for second sample here the second sample is here a given the y2 dash when you are substituting the values w0 x0 w1 x1 w2 x2 here you are getting the 0.6 then compare with the threshold value here threshold is given here less than 1 so if it is less than 1 y2 dash here it is the 0 so why i am using 0 instead of minus 1 means because our uh, actual output is having zeros as a negative class that's why we are using the 0 here for the negative samples so y2 dash here predicted output is 0 and actual output is also here 0 so both are matching so the sample is correctly classified if it is correctly classified we need not to update the weight then go for the sample number 3 sample number 3 is x1 with 0 x2 with uh, sorry x1 with 1 and x2 is 0 uh, uh, actual output is 1 so when you are applying the uh, linear sum here y3 dash 
uh, sample number 3 here uh, when you are substituting the values uh, w0 x0 plus w1 x1 plus w2 uh, x2 you are getting 1.2 so 1.2 is greater than or equal to 1 the first condition here so if it is the uh, greater than or equal to 1 the sample is belongs to uh, 1 so y3 dash is 1 but here the sample actual output when you are checking with actual output is the negative class but predicted as positive class so the sample is misclassified if it is misclassified we have to update the weights by using perceptron learning rule so for that we are having the formula wi equal to wi plus delta wi the delta wi can be calculated by using alpha into actual output minus predicted output into the corresponding input value so here uh, the uh, three values are predicted so first one is correctly classified second one is correctly classified third one is misclassified so we are updating the weights so as per that when you are applying the weight updation rule uh, based upon this formula uh, here the initial weights 1.2 uh, w2 is 0 0.6 x1 is third sample 1 and x2 is here 0 and learning rate is given 0 0.5 so threshold value is 1 so now when you are applying this uh, term uh, difference between the actual output and predicted output the learning rate is 0 0.5 and um, the actual output is here uh, 0 and the predicted output is here 1 that's what we have calculated in the previous slide then x1 for this w1 so x1 is here 1 so we are applying that value x1 is 1 then we are calculating the uh, arithmetic calculation minus 0 0.5 is the value so uh, now we are applying this delta w1 into this place so here w1 equal to w1 plus delta w1 so w1 is the 1.2 we are having here minus 0 0.5 which is calculated and now the new weight is updated as a 0 0.7 like that next weight is w2 so here delta w2 we are calculating substitute the values the alpha is 0 0.5 then actual output here 0 for the sample number 3 predicted output is 1 for the sample number 3 and the here we are calculating the w2 the corresponding input is here x2 so which is 0 here x2 is 0 now uh, we, are, we got 0 as the value for delta w2 so here the w2 equal to w2 plus delta w we are substituting the values uh, w2 is 0 0.6 delta w we have calculated as 0 and now we got we got 0 0.6 so here it is here 0 uh, plus plus symbol here okay so now we got the new values weights uh, 0 0.7 uh, w2 is 0 0.6 now you apply this again from the sample number 1 right because new weights are updated we have to check the new weights are correctly classifying all the samples are not so we have to check that so for sample number one we are substituting the values or uh, w0 x0 w1 x1 new w1 uh, x1 and a new w2 x2 we are uh, sub, uh, substituting the values we got the value 0 then comparing with the threshold value less than 1 so it is 0 so predicted output is also 0 actual output is also 0 so both are matching so the sample is correctly classified no need to update the uh, weight and go to the sample number 2 here uh, substitute the values w0 x0 w1 x1 w2 x2 the value is 0 0.6 which is comparing with the threshold value less than 1 so the predicted output is 0 actual output is also here 0 okay both are matching so correctly classified so weights need not to update then go to the sample number 3 with newly updated weights so w1 is 0 0.7 w2 is 0 0.6 so here when you are applying the values 
zero point seven, which is compared with the threshold value less than one. So here the predicted output is zero, and actual output is also zero. So both are matching. So which is correctly classified. So weights need not to update because of correct classification. Go to the sample number three. Uh, substitute the values here. When you are substituting the values, you are getting one point three greater than or equal to one. So here. Threshold value when you are applying here, which is greater than or equal to one, so uh, the sample number four is classified as one. So uh, here the predicted output is also one, actual output is also one. So now we got the classification. The last sample is perfectly classified. Need not to update. So finally, you look at that. All the samples are correctly classified, right? Uh, if all the samples are correctly classified, we can stop the algorithm. So after stopping the algorithm, we are uh, uh, displaying the output uh, updated output. W1 is 0.7 and W2 is 0.6. Both are suitable weights. That is uh, learning this given data set uh, to perfectly classify based upon the perceptron rule learning. Thanks for watching.